Hello and welcome to Lucas Oil in Indianapolis Raceway Park, uh, also known as IRP. And we are here in the SRX for some hosted racing, hosted by Nick Nieben of Nieben 5, as I'm sure you know if you're here. <laughs> uh, we are doing ourselves a longer form SRX race. Been a lot of SRX content here on my channel, but I'm loving this car and uh, really enjoying learning it, so. That's why it's the new hotness. So of course, that's what we're doing. And uh, it'll be really black, interesting to black. see how this okay, race uh, this race bird. car handles and longer runs. We got some shade here for qualifying. It's really allowing me to get through the corner a little bit better. One more lap. Huh. Lots of grip out here. P13. That was P13. A I'm not very fast, by the way. In case the P13 didn't tell you much. I am learning that, uh, that... The lower line here is really working. We got a lot of grip. Because of this shade. That's kind of crazy. So we'll get a little bit more out of it there. Couple tenths. Seventh Except the seventh, but I wasn't uh, expecting so much speed that the car did not turn that well while practicing, I can tell you that. Really had to adjust that second lap, get some more speed out of it. That's interesting. So, we'll see how that holds up. 22.5, got seventh right now. I don't even think I uh, adjusted my brake bias. No, okay, it's still back. I get it all the way down to 39.5 uh, to get some turn in uh, here. That's probably too low, but we will be all right. <laughs> I just noticed Spencer said, gave it everything I had, and he's got 25.7. I completely sympathize with that. Um, been having lots of struggles trying to get up to speed in this car. I did the uh, Nashville Fairgrounds and uh, people were killing me with the practice laps. Thankfully when I got into the race I got into some good spots. Uh, for the second run I did there I died in a crash in the first one but um, second attempt had a couple of wrecks that I made it through and it went better. So let's see here. Who are we waiting on? Oh, let's see. We've got a couple people that left. Chad left. Wonder why. Hopefully he's coming back. Be great to race with him. You might be waiting uh, for another five minutes, though, so I guess I will let you go and uh, we'll rejoin when it's time to race. All right, we've gridded up here. We did hold on to P7 as our starting spot. And... Uh, we are going to get started here soon for a 100 lap event. Should be a great way to get some experience in this car at the type of track that we're likely going to be spending a lot of uh, our races on. Short track here. Going to get session last lap ready. And uh, we've only got one set of extra tires. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably uh, run that uh, middle line, kind of running those seams lower. I think I can probably save my right front a little bit better if I do that. I'm going to really try not to overdrive it and uh, hopefully keep the car happy. Haven't really done any long runs in this car yet though, so it has been it's yet to been been seen how uh, how the tires really develop on a long run. I know at uh, Nashville Fairgrounds it was getting kind of loose on me. Um, despite the right front being the one that was wearing. But of course, that was only a 30 lap event, and this is over three times that here. So, we'll see what happens. If we do get a long run, I definitely want to make sure that I'm not falling off real bad by the end of it. I did paint up my car too, I don't know if you noticed that. Oh no! Mitch just left. He just lost connection. 100 laps. That's horrible timing. That stinks. Speaking of, Gavin 
indicated that he, he wanted to make it here tonight, but uh, he was having internet issues. Not unlike what Mitch just dealt with, I'm assuming. That really stinks. It's nice to be on the inside, because that is where I want to be running. What gear are we going to start in? I think it's going to be second gear. Since we're our, uh, a couple rows back, second gear should be just fine. Is my brake bias where I want it? Sure. I hope I don't regret that in spin when checking up for something. Gonna try to be smart. And hopefully we have a clean race, too. I trust uh, pretty much everybody in here. Most of people I recognize. But it is a new car, and it is short track racing and uh, can be quite difficult, so accidents can happen for sure. Hopefully I can stay out of any of that myself. I'll be going green here though at Tracy's jump. Thankfully he's pretty easy to see up there with that white and light green. blue. Pretty nice color combination. Okay, Reminds me of a cloudy day. <laughs> we'll get it going. Hopefully for a fun event. Green flag. I'm not running over the guy in front of me. Outside. That's important. Clear outside if you want to. Uh oh, I saw smoke. Car right, this guy's diving to my inside. Still there at the bottom. Not really looking to battle right now. Still there at the bottom. What are we doing? Clear. Inside. Clear inside. Okay. One of the few names I don't recognize. I really am not trying to battle right now. It's a long race. I'm gonna save tire. I'm sorry, I got a clear call. I don't know what happened. The leader has just done a It's like just about everybody's running the line I'm planning to. I wonder if maybe I was farther from the wall than I thought I was, and maybe that was on me for the side-to-side -side contact. It wasn't a huge contact or a big deal or anything. But you never know with code. I didn't right, want that to be happening this early, 20. for sure. The car in front has just done a 22.4. The guy behind has just done a 22.6. So far, so good. we got a little bit of space behind us. Seventh position. I think everyone's pretty much just taking it easy. Whoa, that scene really tried to grab me there. That was interesting. All right. Taking note of that. Be very careful on the seam. Looks like the guy had might be trying to get a run on Billy. Six. Looks like you may be pushing a little bit harder. We could find that uh, it may be really tough to pass later in a run. And if that were the case, maybe we'll be wishing that we were trying to pass people right now, but it just doesn't feel like the right approach to me right now. I wonder if Mark's trying to get around me. It looks like he's potentially trying to get a run back there. Have to be ready for that in case we end up side by side. Try not to turn my steering wheel too much in an attempt to hopefully uh, protect my right front. Sorry about that. I 
don't know if I just got into you. But... Something happening back there, maybe. Great start to the race, though. No cautions. I believe we do have yellow flags turned on, so there have been no cautions yet. That seam incident I had early where it got loose in the seam really has me a little nervous to get it uh, throttled up now. But that's probably for the best. I don't wreck myself. I remember the goal here. To get, just get some experience in this car and have a fun race. And uh, yeah, potentially a trial run for uh, a new season of K5 Championship, from what it sounds like. So lots of people are loving this car. It would be a great one to have uh, a full season of. So that might be uh, coming up soon, which would be great. So far, so good, uh, judging by this race. Not too much passing going on, but we could start seeing more of it once guys actually start pushing a little bit more and once tires start uh, diverging. My car's handling pretty good right now. I'm happy with how it's feeling. A bit of a checkup up ahead, maybe, as I think whoever's in that purple car might be a little bit off the pace. Or those guys are just uh, driving a little close to one another. It's causing some uh, accordion. Gotta be careful here. Got a little bit of space behind us. I think maybe Mark is uh, falling off a little bit back there. Not sure. I'm a little bit surprised because I, I thought he might have been saving. Don't worry about me. Maybe I'm just all of a sudden pushing too hard. That could be it, too. Still only lap 15. Heck no. I only look like I'm in control. Last lap time was at 22.9. Side by side up ahead. A little bit of tap. Ooh, that was scary. I'm going to let him uh, gather it up. I'm not going to make a crazy move. I don't think I was in a good position to do that anyway. Not the time for it. And I don't think anything was going to come of that anyway. Like I said. We'll let him gather it up and maybe try it again if he's looking to make a pass. Looked like they just uh, found each other's door on the exit. And that was a... Uh, bit of a sketchy time to do that. You had to save it. He's cutting low again. You can definitely tell he's trying to get around him. Looking low again. Gotta watch out for the same thing to happen. Car in front of us is Roberts. Got really close to his inside. I was really not expecting to be there. That lap was at twenty-three point zero. I don't know what Thunder Road is on uh, Billy's car, but it reminds me of the logo for Ted Drews. <laughs> if you're uh, from St. Louis, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you the know. Time was the green and the yellow. We're hitting pretty good laps, and it, I mean, it really looks like we're getting faster, to be honest, as this car loosens up a little bit, which is very interesting. That's kind of what I experienced at Nashville Fairgrounds. The, uh, car actually got looser even though I was on the right front. So I don't know if that's a tire temp thing or what that means. I think it's about time we get around Billy though if we can. I did not turn into the corner. I failed. I'm not going to try to make a move after I hit the wall. It was ugly. I just missed my turn in. That's all that was. Thankfully I don't think that was a very hard hit.
just done a 23.2. Car outside. The gap behind is now low. 1.5 seconds. Clear Did high. Work. Outside. Keep low. Keep seeing what's down here. Outside is clear. Okay, I think you might have just let it happen. I don't know if that was a very good attempt by me. I was kind of seeing what I uh, could do if I tried to grip up down low. He probably just let me do it so I wouldn't make a mistake and drift up into him. But either way, pass gets done. Tires are a little hot, so I think we'll take a couple laps here, just try to be smooth. Heck, at this pace, we may not even need that set of tires. We could go green all the way. We do have enough fuel for that, in case you were wondering. E6 right now, not looking so bad. I don't know if the uh, 13's really getting to the wall. I keep, I keep seeing uh, some puffs of smoke. It gets close, I guess. I don't know if it's prediction code or if he's actually doing it. V6. The leader hasn't really driven away from us. I can still see Tracy up there, which is cool. Sometimes you... Uh, race Tracy at a short track and you're more likely to see him coming up behind you lapping you than in the was, uh, front windshield. So I'm feeling okay where I'm at. 13's still looking to move forward. He looks like he wants to get around to Leighton now. Now, 0 .8. I do want a diamond line in a way. Seems like uh, how you want to do it here a lot of the time. Using my brakes to do the turn in and trying to use my steering wheel as little as possible through the center and try to get a little rotation with the throttle pedal on exit. Another potential wall hit for the white car, but not really affecting them, I don't think. The gap in front is now. Ooh, I got on a gas a little bit too early there. Pushed tight. Go ahead, okay. The lady says, go ahead. Oh my god, why is it pushing so tight all of a sudden? Is that just me, or is... That lap time was 23.5. Or is the car doing that? I might have just been getting on the throttle too soon. I think it was just me. Just paying attention to the battle in front of me, instead of uh, my inputs. Can't be doing that. I think we're okay. I think I was just messing up my angles and such into the corner. Probably not slowing down the car enough. The gap to Roberts behind is now 0.8. He's gonna be able to catch a late now. Doesn't look like he's struggling tight. It looks like he's pushing out pretty wide in the corner. I got on the gas a little bit too soon there. Great race so far, though. Nobody's uh, crashed, as far as I can tell. We're getting lap traffic up there. Is that what I'm seeing? I think I might have seen some lap traffic. See someone down low. 
Yeah, it looks like the 7 car up there. Smart of them to go low here, because I do think the uh, it's much easier for the lead lap guys to get around the outside here. Unlike most short four, tracks. Two. That's what we'll do. We'll run a little higher. Inside. Clear. More lap traffic to worry about, though. 14 coming up. The lap time was at 23.3. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's the wall in front of us. Outside. Clear high. Get around him. We lose a little bit of time, but that's okay. That lap time was 23.6. Right, I'm, I'm overdriving a little bit now. I let the uh, adrenaline flow there as uh, we had a little bit of a sketchy situation. It's causing me to throttle it up a little bit too much, I think. The gap in front is now 1.3. Gotta keep calm. Keep patient with my throttle pedal. All that good stuff. That last lap was at Inside. Clear inside. Man, I'm struggling inside. to get some grip out there. Clear. Got some lap traffic in the wall, I think, up there. Slowing the Leighton down a little bit, maybe. At least it's not just me. <laughs> Everyone's trying their best. New car. Difficult to drive a car on top of that. Almost a halfway. Do we pit at halfway? What's our lap times looking like? If we assume this thing goes green the whole way, I don't know. Would that be dumb? That might be dumb. I don't know if we should do that. <laughs> Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. You've just clear up the top. Front is now. Hey, get seconds. around them there. Now uh, we got a pack of lead lap guys up ahead. Who would like to be part of that? In fact, that's the whole front of the field. Tracy's right there. Fascinating. I'm thinking somebody up there has probably hurt their tires a little bit more than they wanted. And uh, they're having trouble passing each other. I think we got second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Yeah, I think whoever's that red car is the leader. I overdrove that massively. That was horrible. They're trying to make a pass up there. Whoa! Big moment. Us catch up. The gap in front is now I think Tracy's ten. falling off massively. I don't like him running really low like that. I think I might keep doing that. I 
think the track's really cool down there, and that's helping with some speed. But now what do we do, now that we're here? Had to carry some speed on the outside, but not feeling like there's much grip up there right now. Careful. Whoa. All right, Colton. Something's happening up here. I'm going to go high. Thank you. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. There's some uh, good real estate down at the bottom, it feels like. Oh, it's happening behind. Car outside. Clear outside if you wanted. What a race we've got going on here. Second through sixth. Okay. Car outside. Had to have some reaction time there. Keep low. You're in the middle. Three wide. Outside. Two wide. Still there. Stay low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Outside. Clear outside. You get past Tracy. I hope I didn't just pinch him into the wall. It looks like I might have accidentally taken up too much room. I hope not. Try not to. <laughs> Trying to give him space. Alright, P5. I think the leader is gone after all of us battling here for top five. Yeah, Tr Tracy's falling off pretty bad, it looks like. He's already almost a second back now. He must be dealing with some serious tight conditions or something. Might be losing that low line a little bit. I'm getting less grip out of the corner than I was. Which will happen. It looked like everybody kind of figured that out a little bit. P5. And when the cars run over that spot, that's when it'll heat up. Ooh. Six maybe getting them by, or maybe just got tight. Ooh, big into the wall. That was a 23.5. How are we gonna get around them though? Ooh, we got some cloud cover all of a sudden. Your last lap time was a 23.6. Kind of defending the low side here, making it hard for me to make side. anything of this. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Outside. That was a twenty-three point seven. Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Car outside. Clear. 
Sorry. Got him a little bit on exit. I think I might have pushed up a little bit too hard. Your lap time was 24.0. I might just need to commit to a big slider, but he's making that really hard because he's taking a lower line. For what I need to do. In the wall again. Outside. Outside, clear. Okay, you think he just let us go? I think he said, okay, I've hit the wall one too many times. Just gonna let this lunatic buy me in before he wrecks me. That's me, I'm the lunatic. You're in fourth position. But I'm a lunatic in fourth place. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'll see how long that lasts. I might freaking blow my right front tire as far as I know. Car's tight, but not unmanageable by any means right now, so we'll see what happens. That last lap was at 23.6. Oh, we got people that pit. Okay. Keep low. Clear outside. I'm very curious to see how that works out. Had I been in a worse spot, I might have tried that, but I'm moving forward with the guys on our lap, so... I let that guy buy terribly. Really hurt my corner. The way I did that. Oh my gosh. What is happening up there? Did the guy get in the back of him? I don't know. Time was 23.7. I have to take a higher line here, maybe. Inside. This guy. Still inside. Clear inside. The lap time was at 23.6. A little bit of shade again here out on the track. Taking like a sigil, a slider line is what I'm doing right now. The gap behind is now 0.8. See how this kills the tires. Fun to run though. I like running this line. Feels fast. Oh, we finally got a yellow. Wow, how about that? I thought we were going to go all the way without a yellow. Make sure uh, bunch of up here so can we at the same time. Interesting. So I'm glad we didn't pit. We do end up having a yellow here. That sucks, man. My thighs are still so good. Yeah, I was moving up. I was wanting to go green. You had a great pass on me there earlier, Nick. The lead is pitting now. Yeah, it's been a ton of fun racing this. I like this car. Oh, yeah. we can't pit yet. Yeah, this season will be a lot of fun. I don't know where the pace car is, so... We could have probably pit there. Car 200, Stuff 19, like got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Probably should have pit there, but that's okay. And these bodies are like glass. Take so much damage from tapping the wall. We got damage on the front end. We do have damage, okay. 
Uh, Leighton, just saying oh, that yeah, uh, the thing's got uh, the last <laughs> exterior made me want to check. wonder how much that's affecting us, if, if at all. 76, Work with the sure 6 on speed. the right front, that's Plane no good. That was supposed to say 56, not 6. <laughs> oh, 56, not 6. Repeat box team, in. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. All the Ooh. damage is repairable. Hey, we're not going to fix all that. 60, 80 was our tire reading. 97, 96 on the laps. You could almost get away with two tires, probably. Wonder how hard I can rev this up without spinning the tires. Okay, punch it. You are I'm number 94. Time. I'm here. Up, take two tires. You just have a really good pit stop. I think we had people pit on different laps there. I'm not sure how this is going to look. When in doubt, go with the game, says. Four course yellow. Pits are open. Three pits off there. You know you're behind me and you uh, jump the key position. Are we all the way to the back? Because we didn't pit that last lap? That sucks. Okay. Well, that's really stupid. <sighs> Should have pit, I guess. On the other lap. I was afraid that the uh, police car was going to overtake us if we pit that lap. Catch up, 28 car. Half bar, 219 car. Caught up here. Good luck, everyone. Stinks. Get ready. Going and green. we were in what? Fourth place? Now we're in 13th? The pace car is off. Be ready. What a bummer. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Getting on the brakes really hard. The car ahead is Holland. Okay, he slides up in front of me. Outside. Stay low. The car is super tight. Clear outside if you want it. Back in. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Pit road All is closed. Right. Looks like Nick had the lucky dog, maybe. Oh, maybe not. I, I think he was the last guy in the lead lap. Of you, buddy. <laughs> Pace car is out. Line up, single file behind car number twenty-eight. We're under caution. It's closed. It's going to be impossible to, for us to move forward again after uh, losing all that track position. There's not enough right for time for tires to really matter too much either. Really unfortunate. We're losing time now too, under caution. Double O, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Let the double O, car oh, boy, get the position when the yellow flag came out.
That's a good question. I don't know if we have green eye checkers. I don't remember. I'm sure he said it on Discord before the race, but I don't remember what it said. We'll have to get Nick Ushio's tech stock during the race. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Oh, hey, we get a shortened caution. Nice. Always one of the big benefits of these hosted races. Anybody else is oil temp or water temp flashing? Yeah, that Not is mine. going on under. Uh, yeah, my water here. temp's flashing. Yeah, mine is too. I'm guessing it's because it's too low, or lower than I expect it to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's get in a position. We're all far away from each other. Is that the thing that's on the bottom left hand corner of the screen? We'll see what we can do. Yeah. This is a tough spot to be in, though. Not very many yeah, laps left. Yeah, I and, uh, angle, but I guess mine is flashing. Lots of track position lost. Gotta just be smart. Because mine's at 140. I mean, that's definitely not too high or Hide the car is off. Green flag, green flag. Car outside. Third gear for now, get a better run of that corner, maybe. Clear up, cop. Car Someone's having an issue. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. You're in the middle, three wide. Still there. This guy's having major issues. Keep low. Sorry about that. Outside, clear. I think that was outside. Shane, maybe. Clear outside if you want it. Car outside. We're all just stuck on each other. Keep low. Still there. Keep low. Keep low. Still there, hold your line. Door hit. Go low. Clear high. Absolute traffic jam. Inside, be caution, yellow oh, caution. Oh man, really? Single file. Another Keep caution? We're just about to get around Shane, I think. Hell, to save there earlier, Shane. Yeah, that happened at the beginning of the race, and I didn't save it. And the same thing just happened again. We, we can't move forward. After that, we're all just in the same spot again. And I guess they're wrecking behind us. Line up single file behind car number zero. Yeah, sorry for about you. Maybe something happened on that, too. First few times, because I was just... Shane and I were more connected than I thought, and then this few times, I just hard got one. Pete Road is now open. It's are open. Are you all good? This one, make sure you didn't think I was just trying to run up the track, just to run you up there. I sure hope Nick's okay. Ah, uh, he's dead. So it sounds like Nick was that caution, uh, somehow. I haven't driven this track in a car that can use so much of it before. There's nothing we can do here, man. We're just stuck. There's a wall of cars in front of us, and there's a wall of cars behind us, too. Lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Well, this has been a really fun race. 
Leather 200. Yeah, I wish it was really stay green. <laughs> Same. I wouldn't have probably gained anything, but it's been just a lot of fun to uh, just drive it around. Yeah, put Kenny back at the front of the field up here. It's all right, within but reach, but uh, I don't know if anyone has anything for him. Really stinks. I wish I could be up there racing with the leaders. Would we start go. fourth or third or fifth? I guess depending on if I how my pit stop went. Pit road is closed. We're under caution. Now we're just stuck in thirteenth. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. All right, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. All right, we'll have eight to go. I wonder if we can finish it off from here. Got a little bit messy after we got the caution and everyone got bunched up again. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is in. Can we gain any spots this time? Green flag, green flag. Car outside. Sorry, Go Stay low. Still there, hold your line. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there. B12, you've just done a 23.0. Still there, hold your line. Uh. You're in the middle, three wide. Outside, two wide. Outside, what the hell? Who did that? Clear Caution. high. Go low. Caution. Yellow flag. They want you I got single fair. file. We're under caution. Road it's closed. closed. Yeah, I saw that you get sent, but like, dude, I saw somebody zero. just try to dive it at the bottom. What just of happened? I was yeah, so I'm shocked, like, I just didn't even road. say anything. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't mean to go through. <laughs> Somebody. I'm supposed to be commentating, and a crazy thing just happened. I was just so shocked at what I just saw that I didn't even say anything. I couldn't. I couldn't. He kind of got in front of me, and that was it. Oh my god. Well, we got a 4x from that, but I don't think we got any damage. We got damage on the. I mean, we got the damage from hitting the wall earlier, but. Well, it was fine. Well. Well, that was crazy. You got five laps to go. Uh, we we gained yeah, spots this time, I guess. Bad, but, I, I, I don't even think dog. I hit the brakes. I had out in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only funny you could have seen my face when that happened. It probably looked like the shocked Pikachu meme. <laughs> Shane flying up in front of me out of nowhere. I was so focused, like we were racing like super close side by side, and then all of a sudden a red car comes flying in from Nowhereville. That was something. We're gonna be starting on the outside this time. That'll be interesting. One to go. Next I don't know if that's where I want to be. Doing just fine. On the inside. Probably harder to dodge messes up here. But heck, we weren't going anywhere on the bottom line either. Only did that time, I think. Thanks to the wreck. Get ready, going green. Three lap shootout now. Really see the leader. Green flag, green flag. They're in the top 
stay high to the car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Something's happening up here. Go low. Who reckon? Stay high to the car on the low side. You're up top, three wide. Right. Go low. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. Pass up, 91. Scar, pass up, 70. Scar, pass up, 70. Oh, that's my right. 91. Scar, there's a green white checkered finish when the yellow flag is out. I guess we technically got through it, but. Scar is destroyed. Scar is destroyed. Fortunately, I guess that's just kind of. Kind of predictable, I guess. Uh, short track, short runs to the end. Look at some limited GWC. What is our damage looking like? Car 14. Got the lucky that should be what we idle at, 1180. Left up, 14. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. I got some damage from that. I don't have engine problems, but I'm, I might not fire off perfectly here. It's just a warning for guys behind me. <sighs> One left to green. Line up on the outside. Okay, Keep Here digging. Race resume at the end of this lap. Do I want first gear? I think I want first gear. We're a little bit too close to the front now. I don't know how much the damage is going to affect me. Get ready. I'm just Go warning in, in case uh, it does. The pace car is in. So I got hit a couple of times pretty good there. Oh, they're making contact. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Stay high. Alright, we will get P4. <laughs> we fought back to P4. How about that? Ooh, that was fun. Despite the messy end. I can't believe I got back to P4. To the GRGW, it was Kenny who got the win. Good to see him. Um, he doesn't join all too often, but when he does, you know he's going to be fighting for the win. 96, 98 at the end there. P4, all right. So we are going to go back and look at the uh, incidents fully, but I do want to watch this little ending here because I want to make sure that I raced clean. It was pretty tight. Some tight quarters. Bit of a weird start there. They're bouncing off of each other. I was just trying to be patient. Thought about going middle here, but I uh, backed out when I saw that Billy was kind of cutting down. Which, I think that was going to be an accident if I went and did that. So I'm glad I, I decided uh, against it. They're kind of stacking up on each other there. Got Alan to our inside. Wait and got loose or something. Down to the inside, and then we're three wide. Trying to leave space for that. I'm over driving up top. Very easy to do in this car, it seems like. And uh, that was the end of the race there. 
So P4, Kenny gets the win. We somehow moved up from where we were, 13th, stuck for a while at the end. Would have been really interesting to see what we could have done if uh, we didn't pit on the wrong lap, but man, I just thought I was going to end up going a lap down taking four tires. On a short track, and I don't know how fast the tires get changed in this car, so that's why I made that decision, even though it said pit open. Because I did notice, I just decided not to, and it was the wrong decision, unfortunately. So we're probably going to get a lot of wall hits, so we might have to skip through a, a little bit quicker. Ooh, that was a little bit of net code. It looked like. I don't think that was anybody's fault there. I mean, Alan's a little bit off the wall, but that shouldn't have uh, resulted in the contact as it did. At, at worst, that should have been just a, a door touch, a light one. So, moving forward, well, whoa, how did he get, like, stopped on the track? Oh, he corrects it into the wall. That's what happened there. Nice, this has got a pretty cool lime green car there. Got the Shop Haley Deegan pink car. And Sean. That's a fun one. What did I do? Oh, get the wall. Yeah, that's when I missed my corner. Yeah, and I, I didn't want to benefit from it so I I lift it off because I, I bounce off the wall here but it actually sets me up for a good exit and I'm like hold on a second I could probably like gas it up and get it, it was inside but I'm like nah I don't want to I don't want to benefit from bouncing off the wall like it's dirt oval or something I don't think I was going to get to his inside anyway even if I did take the <laughs> take the momentum there so moving forward getting the wall, so maybe he did get the wall for real a couple times. He or she, I don't know who, um, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't recognize the name. So there's Tracy in the lead, getting tracked down by the six. I think that's Connor. He's getting tracked down, down by a couple guys, it looks like. There were some really great battles through this race. A little bit of contact on the entry of the corner there. Moving along, just got some wall hits. Try to skip until we see some real stuff. Got one through three all kind of stacked on, on each other there. Nick getting the wall a little bit. Moving along here. Got a wall hit. Is the guy behind getting into him at all? Nope. We're fine. This is for third. Ooh. I'm glad these aren't like the ARCA cars where you can you can touch bumpers a little bit and it won't just destroy the car instantly. Got everybody stacked on the top of each other here. That's when we started catching up to it all. See they're uh, running into each other. Allows me to get to the inside there. Big old cluster, but it was pretty fun. I don't want to clear myself there even though I was clear. We do eventually get around Tracy, I believe. Another case where... I, okay, that's where I was worried I pushed him into the wall. I think I gave him room, though. I think I just scared him. It looks like maybe he he moved a little bit to the right. But I think I think I gave room, although I did cut maybe a bit tight. Still kind of learning where the right side of this car is. You know, you got to get used to the size of the car and where uh, you are in relation to the wall or the other lanes and everything. That's one of the big things that has to be learned when uh, learning a new car. 
Moving ahead. Yeah, Trace is struggling with that right front, I think. Just that, the way it's pushing mid-corner. Moving along past some of the wall hits. We got two cars on top of each other there, both hitting the wall. Oh, we're three wide. Oh, and the 85. This is what brought out the caution. So what, let's see here. The 14 goes to pass, I think. Low side. He's got a lot of grip, presumably on fresher tires. And uh, unfortunately ends up in a three wide. I don't even know if he would have known that that was a three wide move. And I think the, over, the 85 maybe reacted to that a bit. I don't think the, uh, I don't think Jake up here maybe even knew that they were three wide. I don't know if he would have gotten a call. But regardless, everyone trying to make room for each other leads to the, those two guys getting together. And I think the caution came out from that. So here we are under caution. Not sure why we're seeing that. Back under green. Oh, that's Nick's brother, AJ looping it out of the corner uh oh and then there was more there was more that happened maybe some checking up from the the wreck it happened behind us oh that wasn't even related that was just the 85 losing it it looks like unrelated to the accident then a big hit for the seven. Is Nick able to get through it? Yes, just barely. So he survived that one for now, but it sounds like he did find some bad luck later. Lap 84, is this when Shane gets sent? Oh, no. Uh, I mean, he does in a different kind of way. Out of the corner. Nick's uh, maybe gets loose there and gets uh, a little bit too far off the wall. Enters where Shane was trying to exit and he was able to save it really well right there. Ends up uh, with a bad corner. I kind of react a little bit thinking that uh, he's going to... Whoa! This was crazy racing, man. You can see everybody's everywhere. Wall hits. AJ looking to get back into it, but it looks like he loses it on exit again. Uh-oh. And then he he brings uh, the other Neven into it as well. Dang. And then uh, Spencer as well. Gets peace. That's a race ender for Nick, I'm sure. If he uh, was able to continue out there, it was with a very broken car, I imagine. Here we are on the restart, it looks like. Everybody's stacking up. Almost three wide. I think this is uh, the run where somehow that two gets launched at us. I think it's right here. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. So, let's see here. Spencer's a lane down. And, uh, yeah, I guess Shane kind of breaks a lot earlier than Spencer's ready for and kind of enters his breaking zone. Spencer was ready to enter that corner much harder. Yeah, I don't know. And then he just comes up across my nose and then takes out those two guys. I got very, very lucky. And then Shane's out of the ballpark. We get through that. We got more wrecking to do, though, unfortunately. Like here, just a tap, it looks like. Six is going to spin himself into the wall, and then everybody's getting caught up in it. Let's 
So it's looking like the six probably had his brake bias really far back like I did, and he probably uh, entered a little harder than Billy and had to stab the brake a little bit, which pulls his car sideways, and then trying to catch it gets the outside wall, bounces off really hard, which is going to catch the 13, 07, nowhere to go. I've got nowhere to go. I try to dodge it to the right. See lots of people trying to get through it back here. I get hit pretty hard. That's why I thought I might end up with damage. I lose my uh, front bumper, I think. Yeah. I think if we got long run, I might have ended up with some engine issues, but thankfully we just had a green-white checkered after that to contend with. A couple of guys uh, in bad shape back there. Thankfully, we're able to keep it heading the right direction, at least. And that's all we needed for the final restart. And uh, this is final lap here. The Leighton kind of fishtailing it a little bit. And you can see everyone heading through the final corner. We uh, are all good from there. We get our P4 up there. And uh, that'll do it for that race. Just a couple of guys uh, finishing it out. So that was a fun one. We got some long form SRX racing here. 103 laps technically with the green white checkers uh, at IRP. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and look at the race results page. Which should be ready here. Alright. I'll make it so you can see it. There it is. So... Strength of field, 3289. That's pretty good for a, a hosted race. Open to pretty much anybody. We'll get P4. Eight incidents, unfortunately, after getting caught in a couple of those things. Uh, especially that, that last one. But thankfully, uh, made it through and uh, survived well enough to get our P4. Um, we fought back after getting sent all the way back to 13th, so... I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how that went, and it was a lot of fun, which is the thing that matters most. Getting some more experience in this car and having a fun race. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this event, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.